Morning everyone, Saturday the 6th of August with today's news. Not a huge amount because the first day of the season, which is exciting, so I'm going to crack on with this. So some news today around the 23 game, around Ellen Road's expansion plan from Radford Zandi, some team news for Wolves and Leeds coming into the game, and some information around Tor Birch. So we'll crack on with this. So um, yesterday, Roger Zandi and Angus Kinnear did interviews with Square Ball and Phil Hay Show. And what came out of this was information around the expansion plan. So we'll get into the expansion plan. Roger Zandi said that when Leeds bought back Ellen Road for 20 million, the plan was always to develop the ground in year three. He said that the chances of teams going back to the championship are very high in year one and two. Angus Kinnear backed this up on his interview with the Square Ball, where he said that over 50% of teams usually go back within the first two years. He used Sheffield United as an example of that. So getting to year three was vitally important to start the plans and not to go back into the championship with, with a bit of death on a stadium. So he said, now we can move on. Um, Angus Kinnear has already initiated some activities with some of the financial partners that are going to help with this project, and that is moving along. Um, they are estimated to be about a 100 million project to develop the West Stand. It's the stand I usually end up in. Um, and that will bring the Leeds capacity up to 55,000, which is which is fantastic. It will also move us into a really steady financial position because it will move Leeds into the top 10 earners in the Premier League in terms of stadiums, which is huge. At the moment, Leeds currently bring around 205 to 210 million in revenue from the stadium. This move would put Leeds in a situation where they could bring in 260 to 270 million. So it's a significant boost, but 50 million you're looking at there. Um, but that we have to be realistic about who we are as a club and where we are, and it's slow and steady growth now. I think we all know Roger Zani's not flush with huge amounts of cash. Um, and I'm okay with that because I've been around to see Leeds explode and money was spent stupidly. So I'm, I'm okay with that. In terms of Torp Arch, they also mentioned that a the Torp Arch ground, a training facility will be named after Marcelo Bielsa. They've reached out to him to ask him if, if they can use his name on this as a long-standing memory of him at Leeds. Um, I mix feelings about this. I want to see Bielsa remembered. I think it's a great idea. However... Um, Tor Barch was always Howard Wilkinson's baby. It was his brainchild. He created it. He was one of the first managers that way ahead of his time in terms of getting a training facility of that standard up and running in in England. Um, and Leeds to this point still have an honoured Wilkinson, and I'd like them to do something that'd be great. Um, I think it's renamed as Wilkinson. It's just my own personal opinion, but believe it at that. Um, and if we build a new training ground, which the plan is to do that, then maybe name that one after Bielsa. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. So the a great win last night for the under-23s. Uh, Matteo Joseph especially getting four goals last night. Um, if you haven't checked him out, go have a look. Some really, really good finishes in there. Very much a poacher by the looks of it this season. He's, he's much sharper around the edge of the box. Um, and Sonny Perkins also gets a goal on his debut for the under-21s. Um, Dan James had run out as well. I think he didn't assist for, for Joseph's first one. So, um, yeah, worked well on the 21 game. A very strong start by them as well. Lots of goals. You would hope that that replicates itself into the first team uh, as well, especially attacking-wise. So, in terms of the game today, Wolverhampton Wanderers team news. Wolves will be without Raul Jimenez, who has a knee injury. Also likely to miss out are Adama Traore and Nelson Semedo. Uh, Mattia Sarkic, Totti and Huang Hee Chan could feature for Wolves today. They look like they could be ready to come back either off the bench or starting. Um, Leeds, as we know, Dan James is suspended for today. Liam Cooper has an Achilles problem. He's about two to three weeks away from going back. Junior Furpo, a week to two weeks away from being back. For Adam Forshaw, probably back next week. And Lewis Sinistera, also back next week. So that's getting stronger in the next week or two. So that's good to see. Um, and lastly, uh, Leeds will remember all of the fans who are no longer with us, who've lost their lives uh, when we return to Elland Road. I love that they do this. It's a lovely sentiment from the club to, to recognise the fans that are no longer with us. Um, so there'll be a minute applause before kickoff today with that. Um, if you're going to the game today, travel safe, mind yourself. Hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy it a huge amount. And if you're watching it like I will be on TV, um, enjoy it. Try not to get too stressed out by it. And um, I will see you back here on Monday for the news. No video tomorrow because it's Sunday and I'm sleeping. I'll talk to you then. Bye.